and the grandmother gave her a very nice red cloth. That is why everybody in the village called her to Red Riding Hood one day. Did you call me, mother? Yes, you call me, mother. The grandmother is very sick. I brought her to go to her house. Take her this little basket with some red and honey. Yes, mother. But don't disturb in the forest and don't talk to strangers. Or as I said, go straight to the grandmother's house. Yes, mother. Ruth went to the forest with the little basket for her grandmother, who lived in a nearby village. Along the way, she saw many beautiful flowers in the forest. <coughs> what beautiful flowers! I will take some to my grandmother. She left the little basket on the ground to pick some flowers when suddenly Good morning, Red Riding Hood. Good morning, Mr. Wood. Where are you going so early? I am going to my grandmother's house to take her this little basket with some bread and honey. Does your grandmother live far from here in the Red Riding Hood? Mr. Wood, she lives just across the forest in the first little house, the one with the white door. Goodbye. I hope she gets better. And look, do you see that drawer? Yes, I do. Just follow that road and you will get to your grandmother's house. Thank you. Goodbye. Ha, 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 ha. Little Red Riding Hood kept looking for flowers disobeying her mother. He told her to not to stop in the forest and to get to her grandmother's house. Mainly the wolf could not at Little Red Riding Hood grandmother's house.
grinder. Your voice is so old. Is something the matter? I just have a bit of a cold. Oh, I bought a big ears to wear for the better. And what big eyes you have? All the better to see. Oh, and what big teeth you have? All the better to Peace. 